all the trigger warnings because we're going to talk about family reunification therapy and why I think it is a barbaric practice. I am not a psychologist. All that I knew about family reunification therapy, I found in that Denver Gazette article that I shared with you. I didn't know anything about it before that. And so maybe this article that I read next colored my view a little bit, but I felt like it was very well written. It's a ProPublica article by Hannah Dreyfus that was written back in 2023, and it, and it details the experiences of one family's journey with family reunification therapy. It is worse than you're even imagining. With absolutely no credentials in psychology whatsoever, apart from whatever college class we were forced to take, I'm still going to say that family reunification therapy is barbaric. It is barbaric because it's forcing a child to have a relationship with a parent that they don't want to have a relationship with. And that is the goal. That's the only goal of this therapy. If it was truly child-centered, if it was truly based on the welfare of the child, then the outcomes, the goal, would be specific to that child. It wouldn't be simply reuniting a parent with their child. See, in that scenario, it sounds like it's benefiting the parent to me. And then you're making the supposition that, oh, a parent and a child in a relationship together, what could be better than that? Well, for victims of abuse, estrangement sounds like a better idea. Oh, but Casey, they're not going to put an abusive parent with a child in family reunification therapy. They wouldn't do that. Let me tell you why they would and do. This is Linda Gottlieb. She runs a well-known family reunification therapy center in New York. In the ProPublica article I mentioned earlier, Gottlieb was quoted as saying, Lying is so instinctual. Children love to make up stories. Why on earth do we believe children are reporting accurately? If you believe that children lie, if your inclination is to not believe children when they make allegations of abuse, number one, you shouldn't be working with children. But number two, that tells me that your family reunification center absolutely sees children who have been subjected to abuse and they are being forced to have relationships with their abusers. Shame on you. Now, Gottlieb apparently trained this lady, Loretta Maas, I guess it's, I don't care how you say her name. She's not a great person. Gottlieb trained Loretta Moss and she opened a program in Texas. Moss is the therapist that's mentioned in the ProPublica article that ended with children trying to unalive themselves. And if this quote isn't enough to sour you on this person, let me take you to her Twitter page. I mean, I don't know if it's really hers, but it's her picture and it's her name. Of course, she's the kind of person that's going to retweet Christy Gnome. And then, of course, look at that. Mm-hmm. If you want to learn more about family reunification therapy and whether or not they utilize it in your state, you can go to One Mom's Battle. A lot of you recommended that and I'd already accidentally stumbled upon it. The author is excellent. She herself was in the same position as the mom that I featured in the story the other night. She's created a whole website and just essentially is now an advocate for parents that are dealing with this type of forced reunification therapy um, and other custody issues. But this, I fucking hate this. 